You know, let's talk a little bit about your last fight. When we were breaking the fight down, all we really wanted, and I think the hardcores, what they wanted, was for you guys to hit the ground. Because we yes. wanted to see your jiu-jitsu versus his. Yeah, uh, yeah. a lot of people, I was getting a lot of messages about, especially like you said, the hardcore guys, the real yeah. fans, they were like, we want to see a ground game. We don't want to, you know, everybody was afraid to be like a stand-up fighting. You know? Yeah, and so what I wanted to ask you was, I was thinking about this on the way over here. If you would have won the fight via knockout right away, uh -huh. you know, early in the fight, without going to the ground, would uh -huh. you have been a little disappointed that you wouldn't have had that opportunity to kind of no. have that? No, no, or no. Or is a win a win? Yeah, a win is winning, you know. Uh, by knockout, it's great, you know, so I would be very happy also. But he would have been sitting up here going, bah! Yeah. <laughs> bah! <laughs> right? That's for sure, you know. What did the Brazilians say? Bah! Uh, yeah, yeah. Bah! Yeah. 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 But, you know, what's was great the way it it was you know would be greater if i could submit him but he's a world-class jiu-jitsu fighter and it's it's hard to submit him did he do anything that caught you by surprise once you guys did hit the ground what was your your evaluation of his game his defense was good you know i thought i could get the neck better because since the the fight that i fought here uh, john fitch remember mm -hmm. that fight yeah. was here in, Man in mandalay bay and I improved a lot my, my neck attacks because in that fight I had problems to get Jones, you know, neck. He, he defends well, but I, I had problems. So I start to work a lot on that, and I, I'm much better nowadays. But we, with him, you know, uh, with Nelson, I couldn't, I couldn't get his neck. You're on a four-fight win streak, and the UFC has flown you in. Why is that? I mean... Because they, I think they proclaimed Tyron Woodley as the number one contender. But have you heard anything different, like, because of your win streak, yeah. that you might be in this picture? Yeah, or, or yeah I, I get I get a lot of, you know, uh, after this fight especially, I got a lot of feedback from the fans. And, you know, I see every fan say, you, gotta, you should fight for the title, you should fight for the title. And I said, of course, that's what I, what I want to do, but, you know, it doesn't de depend just on me, but I would do all my effort to, to you know, to push push for that. You know, I'm feeling, I'm smelling the, the title shot. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I was fighting Anderson, you know, before when Cheo got hurt and then Vitor couldn't fight, so I was smelling the same, you know. And I'm feeling the same, the same thing right now. But now I'm a different fighter. I'm much more mature and, you know, uh, I'm in the right weight category. So I think now I, tru I truly believe I can win. In that fight with Anderson, of course I believe it, but I knew he was clear, clear, uh, clear, clearly the, the favorite. Mm -hmm. If I go to fight for the title right now, I, I don't think I, uh, it's going to be so much different, you know. Mm -hmm.